Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is the follow-up to the Owl page from issue 7, Batman 7. Uh, this is page 3. More branches. More Owl. More blacks. Cheap brush. I think I pretty much used this brush for the majority of the page. Um, it's kind of a... Uh, funny the the brush was just I think my girlfriend picked picked it up to do some Halloween makeup stuff and uh, I swiped it and I liked it because it was a soft brush and I just um, started doing these branches with it and I, I kind of liked it the feel of it <clears throat> I think a pack of them was like four bucks something crazy cheap And it didn't last long, and they uh, it started falling apart, so I had to tape it. You can see the little green tape. <laughs> I had to tape it to back together, actually. But I love that brush for this. Um, I think the ink on this, uh, I ran out of ink, so I was just using like Speedball. I hate that ink, but. <clears throat> The so-called super black, whatever, uh, for you guys that ask me what I use and all that good stuff. You can also find that information in other videos. I, I keep getting other people asking me what tools I use and just, uh, rather than constantly repeating every video of what tools I use, just look at my other videos. I think there's some stuff up there about brushes and you'll find out all that, what I use. <laughs> I like doing this uh, page because it was, it just felt so abstract with the branches. It was like one of those where you're, you know, you're just on the phone and you're just kind of mindlessly working. Um, you're not necessarily tracing any kind of shapes, you're just kind of going with it. Seemed like I was inking branches forever though. But this page did go pretty quick. <laughs> I never realized how owls were uh, pretty kick ass. I always thought, you know, think of owl, you just think of like Woodsy the Owl, some kind of smart ass bird or something. <laughs> They're kind of. Uh, Pretty cool, actually. I think I like owls now because of Batman. The um, that little black thing you see on my hand—it's a smudge guard. Um, typically, you, you can you wear it with a when you use a Cintiq, because that heat from the Cintiq keeps your hands kind of sweaty. But um, I can't ink without it. I have fits if I can't find it. So that's what the little glove is. I must have disappeared right here and went somewhere and now I'm back. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of some questions that I've been getting uh, that I could answer. It's not really much to say on this video. It's just all kind of, you know, brushwork. I haven't switched brushes. I'm, I'm still using that crappy beater brush and I take took off and I'm doing something again apparently <laughs> um, and I'm back uh, where do I normally start on a page um, I don't particularly start uh, with just filling in blacks or whatever um, some people kind of you know, you can go in and spot blacks and kind of trick your mind into thinking that you're further along than what you really are. Kind of helps. But for me, I just, it's just random. I just start anywhere. Not particularly, you know, background first or foreground or characters last. I, I usually don't do any faces until I'm feeling warmed up. 
Um, there's been times where I literally, uh, when I'm working around the clock, I just roll out of the bed or uh, actually off the couch and go to the table and work. Um, and I never like to uh, tackle faces when I just wake up. <clears throat> those those times I'll do some blacks or big shapes or whatever. <laughs> Anywhere you can start, really, where you can um, allow yourself to gain confidence as you work through the page helps. Especially when you're starting out with inking. Um, a lot of people try to uh, just tackle everything. Um, and really you should start out with the, the basic stuff, the simple things. You build up confidence. I like all these shapes in the, in the owl. I don't... I mean, you understand what they are, the feathers and everything, but... I like the shapes that you can create with the brush. So that stuff is, is all fun to ink. I love that, that bottom panel because of the shapes again. There's freehand at those eyes, the circles on those eyes, because <clears throat> I'm sometimes lazy and I don't like templates or I, that shape isn't really uh, sort of a template shape. It's nice to be able to kind of get away from templates too. I mean, you can rely on if you can throw a straight line or you can, you know, uh, sort of create circles and things like that. Um, there is a way to piece those things together so it looks smooth and that's that's one of the things that you should kind of learn as you as you're uh, learning how to ink not to be afraid to do those kind of things so anytime you don't have to pick up a template it saves time but if you have to it's it's not it's not a sin You just have to know where it works. What are we? Issue. What just came out? Issue 8. <laughs> I'm just now um, done the voiceover for this page on 7. It's pretty sad. <clears throat> but when you don't see videos, you know I'm working. So the next issue will come out because I'm not doing videos all the time. So, this is, you know, pretty simple. Uh, not really much to say at all on this video. Um, this kind of goes along with the first one. Um, the next one I'll post up will, will have some Batman action. So, that, that one will be a little bit more fun. Hopefully, I'll have something to say. If not, at least it's some Batman on the page. Just doing a little nib. Uh, I think that nib I'm using there is... I don't remember. I think it's a 102. I kind of start uh, going back to the 102s. I normally use the uh, Deleter Moro nib. Um, but I needed something a little bit more flexible because I noticed my hand was starting to get a little uh, tired or fatigued from constantly working and that that Moro is a little bit stiffer than a 102 um, no actually I don't know what nib that is it could be an Esterbrook 
Either way, it's a piece of metal. Uh, I think, I think that's it. No, we gotta do the, I should have did that in Photoshop, but I was feeling energetic. <laughs> Cheat where you can, you can come back later and fill it in. As long as you make your deadlines, I guess. Anyway, uh, I'll let this play out. Thanks for watching. And I'll, I'll try to be on the ball with posting more videos. Alright.